would say yes, there is a disconnect. I think the disconnect is because the general public, first of all, doesn't understand that natural resources uh, have been, uh, you know, an important part of Canada's prosperity and history. Secondly, natural resources are um, require high high technology uh, to advance, whether it's oil and gas or steel or mining, metallurgy, all of these things. Uh, huge amounts of technology and innovation have been taken to have taken place. Many of them have been driven by Canadians and uh, underappreciated, there's no question. That's the first thing. The second thing I think Canadians uh, don't understand, you know, there's a, there's a sort of a, a, a gap in the science literacy in Canada. And unfortunately, you know, the environmental movement, uh, while an important uh, group, uh, climate change is for real, uh, this is not something we can just ignore. Um, there's been a lot of hype around, uh, you know, greenhouse gases and pollution and all of that. And unfortunately, many Canadians, uh, uh, rightly or wrongly, uh, point to the natural resources as being uh, not res or being responsible for the uh, large amounts of greenhouse gases and not being uh, good stewards of, of land, yes, yeah. air and water. And um, <clears throat> I think what people forget is that all, all human development has an impact on air, land and water. And all human development has attempted to mitigate it to some extent. And, and perhaps we do need to, we do, absolutely do need to do more. But I think there's a, the natural resources has gone through periods in which they've been very negatively perceived by the, gov by the Canadian public. There was a time when, you know, acid rain and all of that stuff, the big news. Um, and now we're in this business of where the oil and gas sector has been taking a lot of uh, uh, negative publicity. So it's unfortunate because, you know, if you ask any single Canadian whether they're willing to give up their car, their heat, air travel, uh, you know, uh, all of the modern uh, conveniences, uh, they won't. And yet they are the first to sort of criticize other people. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a high degree of hypocrisy around uh, the, the whole question of who the villain really is. The yeah. villain is the consumer. 